Welcome to Cine Monica. I'm finally making this video. To be honest, I was dreading having to rank Studio Ghibli movies because it just seems like the hardest thing to do. I love all Studio Ghibli movies for different reasons. Some are literal masterpieces, others, you know, they have flaws. But that's okay. With that being said, <laughs> I'm gonna try my best to rank them. I know this is gonna be really hard, but you know, let's see. Let's see what let's see what happens. As you can see, I'm wearing my glasses today. I got them from glassesusa.com, which is actually the sponsor of today's video. Glassesusa.com actually sent me three different pairs, so please help me pick which ones suit my face better. Okay, first, as you can see, these. I think they look good. They actually have a little bit of a pink tint, which I really like. Next, these Harry Potter-esque type glasses. My prescription is actually extremely bad. So I never thought I could get glasses like this. What are we thinking? Are they too, are they too round? And then the last pair are these brown glasses. These are also pretty round and a lot smaller than the other two. Like I said, I'm a little conflicted because I don't know which ones suit my face better. I think I like these the most, but please let me know which ones you think suit me more. <laughs> By cutting out the middleman, GlassesUSA.com offers over 10,000 prescription glasses and sunglasses including in-house brands like Muse and Amelia E and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, and many many more at up to 70% off retail prices. If you're like me and you don't know which type of glasses suit your face more, they actually have a quiz on their page that you can take. It's only like a minute long and it suggests which types of glasses suit your face better based on your face face shape and your needs and not only do they offer glasses they also offer contact lenses and you get 25% off all contact lens brands glassesusa.com even has a virtual try-on on the website which really helps you find the right pair I used it to find mine which was super helpful if you're looking for new glasses I really suggest you try glassesusa.com I'm gonna leave the link in the description and again please let me know which pairs of glasses you think is the best all right now let's start with the ranking all right just a little disclaimer these are just my opinions I really want to know your own ranking, so please let me know in the comments down below. All right, let's start. I'm going to start by explaining each of the categories that I'm going to use. The first one is perfection. Clearly, this means I believe this movie is absolutely perfect. It has zero flaws and they each deserve a spot on the best movies ever made list of my heart. Next category is amazing. Deserves more. Of course, like the name says, I think these movies are amazing and they deserve a lot more recognition than they get. The next category is it's really good. Again, very self-explanatory. These movies are really good. The next category is fine, I guess. These movies are fine. They're not bad. I don't think they're amazing. They're just like kind of in the background of my brain. <laughs> Next category is not my thing. These movies are ones that I will probably never really rewatch. If someone asked me to put on a Studio Ghibli movie, I will probably never pick any of these to put on. And the last category is burn it. I will never willingly watch these movies again. I would be fine if they were to burn. Actually, that's a lie because I don't want anyone's movies to burn, obviously, but I just will never ever watch these movies again. I'm gonna go by release date from first to last, starting with Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. Nausicaa was their first release and this movie, honestly, absolutely incredible. Not only the characters, I mean, Nausicaa is the definition of a heroine, the world building, the message. This is one of the many Studio Ghibli movies that have a lot to do with the preservation of nature, the bond between humans and nature, earth. Honestly, incredible overall. I would say that this is perfection, but I really wanna put it in amazing deserves more because I truly think it deserves more recognition and it is amazing, so. The next one is Castle in the Sky. Castle in the Sky is honestly so much fun. I think it's one of the most entertaining, fast-paced Studio Ghibli movies. Of course, Studio Ghibli is known for being really slow-paced, very slice of life, while also having this fantasy element to them. This one absolutely has that fantasy element, but it's also extremely fast-paced and fun and action-packed and I truly truly love it. For this reason, I'm also gonna put Castle in the Sky in Amazing Deserves More. The next one is Grave of the Fireflies. What can I say? This movie absolutely destroyed me. It is an incredible movie. I'm not going to deny that, but I also don't really want to subject myself to watch it again. 
I've watched it several times. Every single time I suffer, I do this to myself. It's a movie about World War. It's a movie about World War II. That's a tongue twister. World War II. World War II. Segunda Guerra Mundial. And it's about a 14 year old boy and his little sister and how they must survive this absolutely broken, horrible, just unfair world. Every time I ask someone, is there a movie that you absolutely love but you will never watch again? At least like seven out of 10 people always say Grave of the Fireflies. And I understand. It is truly devastating. It's I think one of the saddest movies that's ever been made. For this reason only, I will put it and burn it. Like I said, this movie is really good. It's amazing, it's incredible. It just tells such a heartbreaking story. But I also don't want to subject myself to watch it again and suffer and cry and, you know, uh, burn it. The next movie is My Neighbor Totoro. On the surface, you would think that nothing really happens. There's just these little kids. They move into this new house in the countryside and they find themselves befriending this huge rabbit thing. I don't even know what Totoro is. What are you? Honestly, to me, he just looks like a giant rabbit. They befriend this guy and they just like run around and play. There's a bit of conflict. At the end of the day, it's just really simple and cute and just really calm. It's such a cozy movie. I would put my neighbor Totoro in it's really good because I truly think it's really good. <laughs> I don't think it's a perfect movie. Like I said, it's a bit, I feel like a lot of people could find it boring. I don't think it deserves more recognition either because this little guy is like the Mickey Mouse of Japan. He is the face of Studio Ghibli. The next movie is Kiki's Delivery Service. Kiki's Delivery Service is one of the best coming of age movies I have ever seen. Kiki is struggling with growing up, with having to really fend for herself, find out what it is that she is passionate about, while having this fantasy element of her being a little witch and having the power to fly. It's truly such a great movie. I believe that it is perfect. I don't think there's anything really wrong with this movie. Let me think. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it has flaws, but not in my eyes. So I'm gonna put it in perfection. Yes, first movie in the perfection category. All right, next movie is Only Yesterday. This one is one of my absolute favorite Studio Ghibli movies. It's about this woman who goes back to the countryside where her family's from. She helps out with the farm and things like that while also reminiscing about her childhood and her dreams, her aspirations as a kid. The main character is just super relatable and I really like the atmosphere of the movie, where it's setting, but also it's set in like her memories from the past when she was a kid. I would honestly put it in perfection because like I said, it's one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies, but I know that this movie doesn't really have as much recognition as it deserves. So I'm gonna put it in amazing, deserves more. If you guys have been following me for a while and you've seen a lot of my videos, I talk about this movie a lot, so I try to give it the recognition it deserves in my opinion. If you haven't seen this movie yet, you know I will keep talking about it. So you better watch it. You just, just watch it. It's so good. The next movie is Porco Rosso. Porco Rosso is a super interesting movie because it's nothing like Miyazaki had ever done before. First, it doesn't have a female protagonist. The protagonist is a man pig who is kind of rude he's a loner he really just doesn't care about anyone but himself allegedly i think that i'm gonna put this movie in it's really good because while i don't think it is a perfect movie or even amazing i do think it's really really good and i do enjoy it a lot the next movie is ocean waves <sighs> didn't really do it for me. This movie is extremely melodramatic and very soapy. The main characters are not really likable. You're not really rooting for them. The love story is not good. <laughs> the story in general is also kind of boring. It's really, really not my thing. So I am gonna put it in not my thing. The next one is Pompoco. This might be like one of the weirdest movies out there. I really appreciate the message of this movie. Basically, these raccoons are being forced out of their homes because of the construction of these new houses and malls and things like that. So they decide that they're gonna fight back and they have this power of 
shape-shifting. I would say that it is very entertaining. I would say that it's just fine. I would put it in fine, I guess, because like I said, I really like the message. The next movie is Whisper of the Heart. Love this movie so, so much. It always makes me cry. Why? I don't know, but Country Road apparently makes me cry. I mean, in the context of this movie, of course. Again, no one really does coming of age quite like Studio Ghibli does. I mean, she's this high school girl who doesn't really know what she wants to do with her life. Yeah, I think that this movie might be perfection. Love it, I love it so much. I love it with all my heart. All right, next movie is Princess Mononoke. Princess Mononoke is another movie that talks about the bond or rather the separation between nature and humans, the earth, and you know, humankind and how at war they are with each other. Prince Mononoke I think is one of the smartest Studio Ghibli movies. It's also super action-packed with very, very interesting characters. I mean, even the villain in this movie is such a good character with so much depth. You can truly understand all of the characters' motivations and why they do the things that they do. I absolutely love this movie so much. I truly believe it is also perfection. I mean, it is honestly a masterpiece. Moving on to My Neighbors the Llamadas. This movie has an extremely unique art style. It's not something that we have seen in past Studio Ghibli movies. It's a lot more simplistic. I truly appreciate the art style. I just don't think the movie itself is interesting enough. It's not a movie that I will find myself like wanting to rewatch because it was so good. So I would say that it's not my thing. But like I said, I truly do appreciate this art style. I mean, and I and I think it's great that Takata decided to play with a different art style just as we'll see later on with Princess Kaguya. The next one is Spirited Away. Uh, burn it. If you have been to my channel, if you have seen one video of mine, <laughs> I probably mentioned Spirited Away and how it is my favorite movie of all time. When I watch it, I always remember the first time that I watch it. I was in the fourth grade. It like really opened my mind into this like fantasy world. I just wanted to be in the spirit world. For some reason, I wanted to see ghosts, I, apparently. I have never seen a movie like that in my life and every time I watch it now, I'm constantly in awe of the world building, the characters, the music, the feeling, the pacing. I mean, the pacing in this movie is chef's kiss. It really takes its time, especially with Chihiro and everything that she's going through. I just have good things to say about this movie, which is why I will put it in perfection. Perfect. Perfection. It's the leader of the perfection movies. The next one is The Cat Returns. I love cats, I have a cat. You would think I love this movie, but I, I never really liked this movie that much, to be honest. I think it's a cute movie, I think it's a fun movie. It's just one of those movies that you watch and you're like, that was fun, that was a good time, and that's it, you know? I've never really found myself wanting to rewatch it or remember it. It's just okay. I think I'm, I'm gonna put it in Not My Thing. It's just Not My Thing. The next movie is Howl's Moving Castle. It truly has incredible characters. I mean, Hal is such a great character. He's so flawed. You know, he's just trying his best. I truly love all of the characters in this movie. I love how fun it is. I feel like it could have had more slow paced moments, a little bit more time to breathe. I mean, it definitely has some of those moments, but I feel like it needed a little bit more because there was a point in the story, I think in the third act, where it just got a bit too messy. It's still one of my favorites. I think it's super fun. I love to rewatch it all the time, but that's why I'm not gonna put it in perfection. I'm also not gonna put it in Amazing Deserves More because I think this is one of the most famous Studio Ghibli movies. I mean, everybody, I think, has seen How's Movie Castle. So I'm gonna put it in It's Really Good. The next movie is Tales from Earthsea. This one is the first movie by Goro Miyazaki, who is Miyazaki's son. He had really big shoes to fill. I mean, everybody was gonna be with their eyes on him. Even Miyazaki himself walked out of the movie theater when he was watching his son's movie. That's messed up, I'm sorry. With that being said, I do not enjoy this movie. Don't really like it. I feel like it's too busy, it moves too fast, and you don't really have time to care for the characters. It's very messy. So I'm just gonna put it in burn it. I'm sorry. I feel like this category name is too harsh. <laughs> I don't want anyone to burn this movie. I'm just I just don't like it. <laughs> the next movie is Ponyo. Ponyo is another movie that I absolutely enjoy so much. I do think it's geared more towards like little kids. <laughs> what I love about Studio Ghibli movies is that even though they are animated movies, animated doesn't mean it is 
exclusively made for kids. I mean, as you can see, a lot of these movies have a lot of adult themes or themes that adults can really relate to. Messages that really anyone in the world can understand and appreciate. With that being said, I do think that Ponyo is more of a movie that little kids would absolutely go crazy over. They would enjoy it so much. I think it's super fun. It's so colorful. I love the animation, the water, the fish. I wouldn't say it's amazing. It's not perfect. I think it's more than fine. So I'm gonna put it in it's really good the next one is Ariete Ariete is based on the borrowers which are the little tiny people that live in normal people's houses and they like borrow stuff at night so that they can survive obviously the concept is super fun so this movie is really enjoyable to me I do think it leans towards more of the fun side therefore it lacks a little bit of humanity i think it was just a little bland like i said it should be like a super fun movie but i don't think it was i still really like it but i would say it's fine i guess the next one is from up on poppy hill this movie of course has a big twist i would say that this movie is good it's fun it's cute it's very heartbreaking at some points and i can see how a lot of people enjoy it i would say it's really not my thing honestly when i watched it i was like oh okay that was cute never really thought to myself wow such a great movie you know so i'm just gonna say that it's not my thing I have nothing against it, it's just not on the same level as a lot of these other Studio Ghibli movies in my opinion. The next one is The Wind Rises. Now this movie is the love letter to aircrafts and airplanes that Miyazaki loves so much. It really really breaks my heart every time I watch it. I love it so much because it's all about dreams. What is your dream? What do you really love to do? What is your passion? Apart from that, there's a really really sweet love story. I love them so much. I would say this movie is just amazing, to be honest, and it deserves more. I feel like it doesn't really have enough recognition. I mean, it was nominated for an Academy Award, but still, when people talk about Studio Jubilee, I don't see them mention The Wind Rises as much. So I would put it in amazing, deserves more. The next one is The Tale of Princess Kaguya. This movie is another one where Isao Takata decided to make, you know, a complete shift in the animation style. It's a watercolor animation. Absolutely, incredibly beautiful. It's so beautiful. It is one of the most beautiful animations I've ever seen. It's very just magical. I would say that it is amazing. Definitely deserves more recognition, deserves more love. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Next movie is When Marnie Was There. When Marnie Was There is an interesting movie because it also has kind of like a twist ending, a twist. Really, wow, did not see that coming. I love the setting of this movie. It's in this beautiful lake house. I also like how kind of unlikable the main character is at first. She finds herself befriending this other girl that lives in this huge mansion. You think that the movie is gonna go somewhere and then it just like, Nope. I, I would say it's between it's really good and it's fine, I guess. I just didn't make another category, but yeah, it's good, I guess. The last movie that Studio Ghibli has released is Arrowig and the Witch by Goro Miyazaki, who is Miyazaki's son, once again. Not only this is the last movie they have released so far, but it's also the very first full 3D CG animated movie that Studio Ghibli has released. A lot of people went absolutely crazy when the news broke that this would happen because, myself included, what we really love about Studio Ghibli, other than the amazing stories, the messages, everything that has to do with story-wise, is also the beautiful animation. I mean, you don't really see this type of 2D animation anymore, especially with Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, all of these huge animation studios, they're not making 2D animations anymore. So when they said that they were gonna make a 3D CG animated film, it was like, but why? <laughs> I was a bit on the fence. I was like, I'm not on board per se, but I also want to see like what what they come up with. I want to see how this looks. I mean, maybe it's good. I don't know. And it doesn't mean that they're going to keep doing that. It's just a one-time thing, right? It's honestly is worse than everyone could have imagined. I mean, the animation is truly just not I don't want to say that it's not good, but it's just not nice to look at, you know? I honestly didn't really like the animation. That's one thing. The animation in this movie is one thing. Now, the story was also just like, what? Honestly, this is the worst Studio Ghibli film that has been released. The characters were just not likable. 
the way that the movie ended was just absolutely crazy. Like, what? It ended in such an abrupt way. So I would say burn it. And with this one, I mean it. Like, burn it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it again. You know what? Even saying that makes me feel bad. Don't burn it. I mean, people worked hard on it, probably. You don't have to burn it, but I don't want to see it. All right, those are all the three Ghibli movies that have been released so far. I'm really excited about How Do You Live, which is Miyazaki's next movie that is already in production. Hopefully it'll come out soon. Let me know your own rankings of the Studio Ghibli movies. I really want to know. You don't have to include all of them. You can tell me like, what are your top five Studio Ghibli movies? Also, don't forget to check out glassesusa.com. I am going to leave the link in the description. And let me know which glasses do you think I look the best in so I can use them as my everyday glasses. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.